images on a screen. While the action is taking place, we all forget, temporarily, that we are merely watching a display of colored lights. We take the figures to be real and become engrossed in the little dramas of their everyday lives. Occasionally, we become aware that we are watching, that the pictures are not real, but they're just images on a screen. When this happens, we subconsciously differentiate between what is real and what is unreal. The man watching in his chair assumes I, the observer of this film, am real. The pictures on the screen, they are not real. Now step back one stage further. Here is a new film. The original observer and the film he was watching are both now displayed on the same screen. The observer, who formerly thought himself to be real, is now just as unreal as the film he was watching. Now what is real about this picture? What here is permanent? What remains unchanged? While all these pictures come and go, it is the screen. Your own self. Your own reality is the screen upon which all the unreal pictures of the world are displayed. All the pictures on the screen, including the form and the person you take yourself to be, are supported by the screen of your own self. When you recognize yourself to be the substratum, the screen, and not the name and form which appear upon it, you are free. If there is a fire in the movie, it will not burn the screen. If there is water, the screen will not get wet. When you discover who you really are, when you discover that you are the screen of consciousness and not the images that appear upon it, you are untouchable, indestructible, you are